Hi, I'm Marcus Eddy, your Director of Training, and I want to just share a few moments with you. I know you're about to plug in and start watching our training videos and run your World Ventures business. My desire for you is to give you some information right now that's going to help you make that bonus for making your first six sales over your first 30 days. That's a great first goal to have. I know some of you may have bigger objectives to that, and that's a blessing, but at least let's get you and everyone on your team going for those first six personal sales during your first 30 days. Now, in order to do that, folks, I've just got to share with you, the first thing is you got to get the right mindset. You now have your own business. I'm I'm sure most of you already have kept your job, so you've got a job. The problem with a job is tomorrow, if the company goes public, how much are you going to make from that? Usually the owners and the stockholders make a fortune, but you don't get much. As a matter of fact, if you merge with another company, you may actually get laid off from your job. I'm not trying to depress you. My point is you don't have equity in the company you work for. Most people don't, and if you do have equity, it's usually very minimal. Here, you own your own business. And Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki says, I don't care if you have your own way of running your own business. You only do it two hours a week. That becomes your career. I don't care what you're doing 40, 50, 60 hours a week week to pay the bills. We have to get a mindset now that this is your own business and whatever hours you can put into it, you got to put them in with passion. You don't want to go and do this. When my daughters were young and I'd say, hey, go clean your room, they'd go, all right. And they'd go clean the room, but they'd clean it with less than a passionate attitude. With this, you've got to look at this like, this is my chance. This is my chance to make more money I ever dreamt as humanly possible. I understand it right now. You don't know what you're doing. I understand you all have experience. I understand you have a lot of people on your team or a lot of customers, but we can change change all that or we can help you change that. So get fired up. Get excited. It's okay to be excited. You got to get optimistic. You got to believe that great things can and will happen. So let's get things started. First of all, you want to make a list of everyone you know, folks. And I know most of you don't do that. This how you go, okay. Bob, nah, he wouldn't do it. Mm, George doesn't like to travel. Ooh, Mary would do it. Mm. And you start almost being like you're a psychic friend and you know who will and who won't. Forget that. Make a list and let's start calling everyone. Follow the four step invite. Call them with enthusiasm. Now, will everyone say yes? I want to sit down and look at this. No. You got to understand we are not in sales business. You're not a salesperson. Some of you calm down. You don't have to sell anything. What you do need to do is become a professional sorter. You call and invite people. Some say yes. Some say no. The ones who in, you do get them to sit down and take a look at the business, no matter how it is, whether it's in a, a business presentation in a group or one-on-one -on -one over a cup of coffee or watching a DVD. It doesn't matter how they see the company. Of the ones who take a look at the presentation, some will and some won't. So this is the expression you need to get. Some will, some won't, so what? It's a numbers game. We have an amazing product. Oh my gosh, World Ventures has such a great value proposition for what people pay for the product. It's unbelievable. That's why we've grown so much in a short period of time we've been in business. But not everyone buys it. Not everyone buys any products. Apple is on a massive roll right now, but not everyone has an iPhone. So you got to understand, some will, some won't. So what? You just got to keep going. The problem with a new person's business is we take rejection personally. If I invite you to come to a concert tonight with Bruce Springsteen and you go, oh, I don't really like Bruce Springsteen. Should I go, yeah, but you got to understand and, and start singing his songs for you and start showing you pictures of him and giving you statistics. The bottom line is if you don't like Bruce Springsteen, do you, first of all, do you think I could get someone else to go with me if you don't want to go? Secondly, do you think that if you don't like Bruce Springsteen, I should start reevaluating whether I want to go or not? Should I start reevaluating whether rock and roll is real and valid? Should I start in my mind, is live music really here to stay? Give me a break. Whether you like Bruce Springsteen or not or want to go to a concert or not, he's making millions of dollars. He's living a great lifestyle. The concert's going to go on with or without you or me being there. But so many people get involved and they invite people to World Bench. If they don't want to do it, they go, well, Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it's one of those things. Maybe, maybe I'm just not good at it. It's like, pfft, are you kidding me? If you invite your friend, see, if you invite me to go to a Snoop Dogg concert, I ain't going. I don't like hip hop. I don't want to upset anyone. I'm just keeping it real. If you don't like, I just don't like hip hop. So you can invite me and invite me. If I went with you, you wouldn't have fun because I'd be there the whole time rolling my eyes going, when can we get out of here? The, see, it's the same thing. You invite someone into World Ventures. They don't want to do it. Don't force them in so they get in and they roll their eyes every time they go on a trip. Some will, some won't, 
So what? That's just a basic fundamental core of what you have to understand. Also, get this, the past doesn't determine the future. So if you weren't a straight A student and you didn't make a lot of money in the real world, who cares? You're in this deal now and now is all that counts. You come in here with a clean slate. We believe that you can do anything. You've just got to believe the same thing. There's lots of people who have become wealthy in this industry over the years. You just got to put your head down and do your very best. I'm not saying the odds are stacked and you'll become wealthy? Give me a break. 1% of all the people in the world become wealthy, or 2 or 3% at the most. So the odds are stacked against you. You know what's great about being in World Ventures? Now it's possible again. You're not just getting a fixed amount of money in the budget for what you do. You don't have a glass ceiling. Now anything is possible, so you just need to go to work and do things we tell you. And it starts with making that list, contacting those people, doing the presentation or getting them in front of somebody else's presentation, and making those first six sales. And here's the deal. You make those first six sales, you end up making over $500 with all the bonuses and stuff. It's awesome. But even if you don't make your five, six sales, if you make at least four, then you get to a place where if you stack them in your team the right way, you got four, you don't have to pay anymore. Wouldn't it be cool if you didn't have to pay your dues anymore after your first 30 days in the business because you went out and got at least four customers? So shoot for six, shoot for the big bonus, but even if you don't get it, let's get at least four. Now, anybody can do that, folks. If you have 100 people on your list, even if you're really bad at this, and even if you have no sales skills whatsoever, even if you your last name is Murphy and they named the law after you because you have such bad luck, anyone can get six out of 100. You just got to make the list and call the people. So that's all I have right now. But go into our online training library. We got more and more and more videos like this and come to our live events. Let me work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Let our other trainers get in front of you guys. We've got the best trainers in the world. This is one of our biggest core strengths is our training. I'm so glad you plugged into this, but make sure you plug into all of it and you do it all the time. I'll look forward to seeing you at a live event real soon.